Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be ranking every LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2 minifigure from worst to first. Now I really cannot stress enough that this could easily be the best LEGO collectible minifigure series ever made. It really is that good. Every minifigure is absolutely fantastic. However, in this series, some are quite easily better than others, so we're going to be ranking from worst to first. So starting us off, in at 12th place, we have... Mr. Knight. Now don't get me wrong, this is a great minifigure. However, compared to some of the other minifigures on this list, it really does pale in comparison. There's minimal printing, no arm printing, no dual molded legs, and it's just rather plain. However, I will say that this minifigure does come with arguably the best accessory in the whole series, that being the little fish tank. Moving on to 11th place is Agatha Harkness. And just like the Mr. Knight minifigure, the printing on this minifigure is rather minimal, although it does come with a really nice purple cape piece as well as two purple power blast pieces, and you've even got a brick built dark hold. The hair piece is also pretty neat, and the head also comes with two different faces. Moving on to 10th place, we have Hawkeye, aka Clint Barton, and this minifigure again, it has minimal printing. And unfortunately this minifigure has one really big weak point, that being the legs. The legs have zero printing on them and it really does show, because it has really nice printing on the torso and it even comes with dual moulded arms. So I'm not really too sure what Lego was thinking, not putting any printing on the legs. But it does come with really neat accessories, including a cute little owl. Moving on to ninth place we have Werewolf by Night. And now we're starting to get into the territory of really good minifigures because this minifigure has printing just about everywhere you can imagine. Fantastic printing on the torso, the arm printing is phenomenal, you've got dual moulded legs, along with a really neat hair piece, as well as a great head piece, again, that comes with two different expressions. The only negative to this minifigure is the accessory is rather weak, only coming with a little bloodstone piece. Moving on to 8th place we have Kate Bishop. I really love the colouring on this minifigure, it's really good, the printing is also fantastic. You've got lovely printing on the legs, including the side of the legs. The hair piece is also great, and it comes with three different accessory pieces, including Lucky the Pizza Dog, which is easily one of the best accessories in this series. In at 7th place is Beast, our first X-Men character that features on this list, and it's a really solid minifigure. The printing on the torso and legs are great, but what makes this minifigure stand out is that fantastic hair piece. It's really cool looking, and I imagine so many X-Men fans cannot wait to get their hands on this minifigure, because let's be honest, we haven't really had many LEGO X-Men minifigures to date. I also better mention that he comes with two really good accessories, the main one being the X-Men mug, and then you've got a brick-built scientific microscope. So overall, I'm really happy with how LEGO decided to go ahead with designing the Beast minifigure. They did a really good job. And I really do hope they decide to go ahead with creating more LEGO Marvel X-Men minifigures. So fingers crossed for 2024 in that regards. In at 6th place is Echo. This is easily my least favourite character on the list, but you can't deny just how well LEGO created her minifigure. It's got fantastic arm printing, printing on the torso is great, you've even got printing on the braids of her hair. But what's so unique to this minifigure is that special leg piece designed after the prosthetic leg that the actor uses in the show, and LEGO have managed to make it look really cool, and it even has printing on the side of both the normal leg and the prosthetic leg, so overall it's a fantastic minifigure. Moving on to 5th place is Goliath. This really does look like an Ant-Man variant, and that's because it is. This character is going to feature in the What If Season 2 series, but yeah, overall, fantastic minifigure, the helmet looks great, you've got fantastic arm printing, leg printing, and the printing on the side of the legs looks absolutely great. And it also features a micro Ant-Man figure. Moving on to fourth place, we have another X-Men character, that being Storm. And this is a minifigure that when it was first leaked, I couldn't wait to get my hands on, it just looks fantastic. Obviously the main feature to this minifigure is that really cool cape piece. It's really cool and really unique, it bends right round the minifigure and fits right into the arm piece, giving it a really comic book accurate look. I don't think the printing on this minifigure is much to rave about to be honest, but that hair piece looks absolutely fantastic. Moving on to third place we have another X-Men minifigure, this is the best of the bunch though, that being Wolverine. 
And this minifigure is a marked improvement on any Wolverine minifigure we've had to date. It's absolutely fantastic. The printing is just off the chart. The leg printing is absolutely fantastic. And you can really tell they've taken inspiration from the classic comic book version of Wolverine. The arm printing is also really good. And it's pretty funny because you get to see Wolverine's hairy arms. The minifigure also comes with a helmet. But if you don't want to put his helmet on, you can switch his head around and put his hair on. Moving on to second place now, we have She-Hulk. Now this was a character that in my opinion was absolutely butchered in the Disney Plus show. However, Lego managed to absolutely knock it out of the park when it came to designing this minifigure. The level of detail in the minifigure is absolutely outstanding. You've got that great hair piece, the printing on the arms are fantastic, the printing on the legs is phenomenal. You've got jaw molded legs with printing on the front and side. And it also comes with two really cool accessory pieces, that being a little case file for the Abomination, as well as a mobile phone which is currently dial-in Wong. So pretty great accessories, and overall is a fantastic minifigure. Moving on to first place now, and I'm sure a lot of people would have seen this coming, it's Moon Knight. What can you say about this minifigure other than it's arguably the best LEGO Marvel minifigure ever made? This minifigure has absolutely zero weak points. The accessories are great. You've got arm printing with insane amounts of detail. Jaw molded legs with printing on the front and the side. The torso print is great as well as the headpiece which you can swap around to kind of show Mark Spector's face. And you've also got that great cape piece as well as a fantastic hood piece. And talking about that unique hood piece, it also features a printed moon crescent on it, which is really cool. So all of the printing on this minifigure adds up to what must be one of the most detailed Marvel minifigures ever made. So overall it's just one of the best minifigures I currently have in my collection now. It really is that good. And I would absolutely recommend that anyone who's into Lego Marvel and who hasn't got this minifigure already, listen, just go out and get this minifigure, whether it's on eBay or whether you try and get lucky opening more Lego Marvel CMS Series 2 packs, you've just got to try and get this minifigure. It's a 10 out of 10, and probably one of the best LEGO minifigures that has been released this year. So there we have it guys, all 12 LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2 minifigures ranked from 12 to 1st place in my opinion. And you have to say, LEGO absolutely knocked it out of the park with this series. Every minifigure is absolutely fantastic. But anyway guys, I'd love to hear your opinions on this series. What minifigure do you think is the best? Let me know down in the comments. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>